Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here. In this video, I will show you guys how to connect to your IP phone like this via an Ethernet cable like this one to your PC and make this phone share the internet from your PC's Ethernet port instead of connecting this directly to the modem. Well, first of all, I want to give you a bit of a background information and knowledge. An IP phone is different from the standard landline, even though they look the same. It uses the same landline number, obviously, but it is making phone calls via the internet connection instead of the phone line. I did not know this until the copper phone, phone line of mine is about to be uh, getting disconnected during the process of moving to Australia's NBN network. So that is why I got this IP phone. By using this, I can keep my existing landline number for the business. And then it is also a more powerful and more convenient way of operating the business too. So if you are in a similar situation, uh, whether it's for business or for home, uh, you may want to look into this. The topic for this video though is how to connect this IP phone to the PC via the ethernet cable here and how to do the setup on the PC. This was in the office connected directly to a modem and that is you know uh, the way it is designed to do anyway but after I have moved the phone back home the desk is so far from the modem and I'm not able to connect it without creating a lot of issues around the home. If this has Wi-Fi built in it would be uh, much easier but unfortunately that is not the case here or I can get a cordless version of the business phone but because I have a contract so I have to pay more for that plus the way I use these phones it is just you know more powerful to have standard size phone instead of a mobile uh, sized you know cordless device. In this video I will show you how to do it in a few simple steps. So step number one, physically you need to connect this cable to your PC using the other end and this end you're gonna uh, connect to your phone here. On the back of the phone it has the power, power cable and then it has a internet slot together with a PC uh, slot there, not sure what that's for but make sure you connect this cable to the correct one which is the internet plug here. Uh, and then um, plug the power cable in. Again, I want to make sure you know which port to plug in. Make sure you use the internet port here, not the PC port or not, you know, not the phone line. I, I suppose this is the phone line, but make sure you use the internet port here. Now, as you can see, after we plug in the power cord, now the phone is starting. Uh, let's wait and see what happens. All right, the phone is trying to obtain IP address. It's having a very hard time obtaining the IP address. So you, it will get stuck on this screen and it will never work. It says no service, warning, no service, right? So now let's move on to the computer. Let's show you how to set up the PC. Now step number two. First thing you want to make sure is the PC is connected to the internet with Wi-Fi. As you can see here, it's connected. And now you go to control panel, you go to network and internet, go to network connections, and then it shows a couple of connections that's on this PC. As you can see here, Wi-Fi connection, that's what we're using now. And there is an ethernet connection, which is between the phone and the PC. To verify that, we're gonna unplug the cable from the phone. And now it says unplugged. That means it's verified. This connection is between the phone and the PC. Now I plug it back in and it's connected again. Let's have a look at the settings uh, by default on your PC. Go to IP4 and you can see automatic, automatic, nothing here. Awesome. That is normally what it looks like before any setup. And then go to sharing tab here. Uh, right now it's not ticked, so there's no sharing at this point. That's okay. Now go to the ethernet connection, go to IP settings. Same thing here, it's blank, automatic. Okay, so now let's set up. 
go to properties on the Wi-Fi connection, go to sharing, tick the box, allow the sharing. And then the second box, I would just, you know, untick. Okay. Nothing changes here. We have a look at the IP settings now. So we want to change the IP DNS settings to the following. 192, 192, 168, 137, and 1. And OK. Not sure why these numbers. I learned this from the internet. as long as it works. So now go to Ethernet, double click and go to properties and go to the IP settings. As you can see here, uh, automatically this shows up and you just need to click OK. If this is not the setting, you might want to put it in manually to match it. Okay, close it. And now the internet connection between the phone and the PC should be established. Uh, with the sharing and DNS settings done, let's have a look at the phone now. Normally what I would do is I'll try to, because sometimes there is a lag, uh, the screen still says no service, but I want to make sure, you know, uh, uh, the phone update the settings. So normally I would find something like settings and basic settings. I go to update configuration and enter and provision now. Yes. And then I go back to the home screen. As you can see now, it doesn't say um, no service anymore. Also the time and the date automatically updated. That means the phone is officially connected to the internet now. Now let's do a, a quick test. Uh, call a random number here. One, two, three, four, five, and send. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check it. Awesome. As you can see, the phone is connected to the internet and the phone number is working now. I hope you guys find this video useful. If so, please give me a like and subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, I will do my best to help you out.